Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at how you can jump into your flare, which is quite a cool effect uh, if you jump from your top rock or from another move straight into your flare. Uh, very cool. And there are multiple ways to do this actually. So let's go also over some of them. Uh, so the first one and the most easy one probably is that freeze to flare, uh, which means you use the turtle freeze to go to the flare. So as you can see, I'm in the turtle freeze right now and I give a little rotation with my hand. This will make this, my initial kicking leg, go to the front, which helps me initiate the flare. And then all you do, well, I suggest actually pushing your hands out, but if you can do the wind motor flare, you simply use that same technique uh, like that. So when I'm here, I rotate forward and kick the leg. So that's how you go from that, uh, from that free to the flare. And now all you have to do is find a little weight Jump into the freeze, jump into the flare, right? And sort of the people will see that you use the freeze, but it will be very sick as you do it correctly. Uh, so basically what you have to learn is as soon as you land, you also push in flare. Actually jumping in is probably, for me, standing totally still and doing the flare sort of harder than doing it from windmill and crap. And actually jumping into it is also sort of lighter for me for some reason, I don't. But whatever, right? That's the way. So you land in the freeze and you flare. So I really suggest uh, practicing that freeze to the flare a lot because it gives you a lot of not just jumping into it but a lot of variation with other power moves like halo to flare, wind move to flare, like even like uh, you can do head spin and glide into freeze and flare pretty much so it's a good combination to have uh, but that's the way you do it you land in the freeze and don't wait of course and kick the flare like that uh, so if you fall during these things well first of all get a good flare right but 99% of the times it's just you're not kicking your legs like you should a good flare. Really hard towards the shoulder. And a lot of times a leg is bent down as you do weird combos. Because you're not used to doing those transitions. So uh, that's probably why. Like I myself also sometimes when it's all these uh, combinations. Sort of hard to do. Sort of lose the flare and have to struggle a couple of flares to get back up. But usually it's because you don't kick correctly. If you kick correctly... Even if the leg drag a little bit, you're pretty much good in the flare and can continue. So, uh, yeah, that was no rule number one. Try to get the freeze to the flare. I suggest doing this anyway. So the other way, well, you can pretty much just jump on your first hand and flare, just like normal, but with a little jump into it. Uh, so normally when we're in that freeze, you just said, look, I give a little rotation with the wrist and start moving this leg forward. We can pretty much use this to initiate the flare if you want by turning the wrist in a little bit as you jump on one hand like that. So what you try to do, jump on the back of the flare. So you have to have multiple flares, of course, like I said, get the flare first, otherwise this is impossible. But you sort of jump to the back of the flare and then, you know, you just do the flare pretty much. Uh, but, uh, same like that other technique, you need to kick correctly and you, it's way easier to just go straight up from this. Like when you enter the flare from standing, you usually do this. Just add little jumps to it. Uh, another possibility is actually to do a little bit chair flare technique. If you understand this technique or at least know what, how to use it, you go sort of into the freeze but push to the side. This will, well, with jumping in, it's actually easier and then you don't really need to use a real air chair where you totally stop the momentum. That's way harder, right? Uh, but if you look at it, I'll try to not uh, initiate so much so you really see a little jump. So, uh, Jump, flare, right? So what I do personally is just turn my wrist a little bit in. So I can actually enter the flare like that. If you want, you can lean on, on, the, on the, like I said, a little bit like the chair flare to help you, but really not necessary. So you can jump on this hand. And because you can jump on this hand, you can do all kinds of shit with your free hand and, you know, touch your head, touch this, jump forward. Like one combination I really like is when Sometimes you use it like I really go really far forward in one flare, almost cross the entire floor. So when you know how to, you end, you really jump forward with the hand to do that flare, which gives you a nice effect. But pretty much be creative with this, right? Try to find a little way. So again, you jump and then flare. Right, a little jump on the hand and flare. Uh, so with practice and understanding, you can jump way higher than that. I don't use that one actually myself, but. Uh, yeah, that's one. That's another way, and then we have a couple of more ways, but pretty much I will round it up with the New York one, which I use myself a lot because it's so simple. 
So these are the ones actually quite hard, especially if you're in total standstill, but it is quite useful because you can use it also you know, the combos, right, to initiate your flare. But uh, what you can do is simply, like New York flare is simply flare from power move entrance, right? So when you enter, like you put an air flare or you put a windmill from standing, but you do the flare instead. So normally everybody starts like this. But what we all we have to learn right now is to jump into the back of the flare, kind of, like this. So what I personally sort of do, well, this is my combo, but you can do it if you want. Take this one, I don't give a shit. But basically when you dance, I already put my hand behind my uh, back, like this. Then I jump. Boom, on my head like that. So it's a nice effect because people really see you jump into the flare. And if with, with practice you can jump really high. So as you do that, just place right at the flare because you land in the back of the flare. So when I don't do anything with the hands, you see me sort of stand, jump, and flare, right? Uh, but like I said, if you put your hand in your side, or you touch your foot or some shit like that, really uh, make it clear for people that you jump, and then you feel the flare. So for instance, with my, uh, like, let's do another one, why not? So I'm going to put my hand in my side as I do it. I already do it in the dance myself to make it more clear, and I just jump, and flare like that, right? So initiate that flare. Uh, but you can do anything you want, like, you know, take whatever moves you want and try to practice jumping to that walk. Now, when, when you do it, you land in that back of the flare, lock this. Sort of tense your body, sort of like one in place like that. All you have to do is place your hands in flare. It's actually way harder if you jump. Well, not if you jump higher, but if you land higher. But the jump, like if you block like that, doesn't matter if you jump high or low. I can also jump high and do the same thing because I just land in the same position and then the flare doesn't come from the jump, the flare comes from the landing basically. So when I try to you know, jump a, a little bit higher, right, you jump up and flare, right? So that way you can really use this and play with this and maybe go from other moves. Uh, by the way, the jump to flare, uh, if you can do that, the air flare to flare, if you can do air flares, it's yours. If you can do the swipe to flare, it's also a combo a lot of people have a lot of trouble with. But if you can do this, you jump to the flare, the swipe to the flare is easy because it's the same. You just do a swipe like cut. Of course, you have to have a good swipe and a good flare, but that's a given, right? Uh, so, and then, uh, yeah, guys, practice on this. Try to make your own little variation. The easiest is, of course, that hand and that hat. The hat and the hand are free. You can put them in weird places as you jump towards that position, which makes you uh, quite like same with the freeze, right? You, the hand, the, the body parts you don't use, you can play with, right? You can jump weird and, and really land in that freeze. Maybe use that, this, this rotation technique that actually in the freeze you rotate into the freeze, whatever you want. Play with this concept, it's very nice. Uh, and I, you know, it's quite impressive too. A lot of people got like good flares, but that's all they do with it. <laughs> they just do flare, 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 windmill, and that's it. Like, okay, nice, but you know, no creativity. If you learn how to jump into your flare, it's actually way easier than comboing your flare and doing weird shit with it. Because all you have to learn is a little bit to jump into it. Uh, so get to this guys and most importantly practice that flare, make it your own. You now if you master the flare, all this is possible. See you next time.